Welcome to our video. In this video, we will explain why doing steady state cardio, such as running or biking, is not the best way to get in shape. Consider the situation of Larry and Rob. They are both out of shape and want to get in shape. Rob decides to run a marathon, while Larry decides to go to the gym and do high intensity strength training. Rob spends hours running for his marathon, while Larry spends about half an hour in the gym. In the end, both of them lose weight, but we notice a difference. Rob looks skinny, while Larry looks ripped. In other words, Larry has lost fat but maintained muscle mass, while Rob has lost both fat and muscle. Why did Larry's half an hour in the gym give better results than Rob's long runs? In order to understand this, we must first understand the difference between their approaches. Cardio exercises, such as running, are classified as aerobic exercises, which means one can perform them for a long time without getting out of breath. Weight training exercises, on the other hand, are anaerobic, that is, they are intense enough that one cannot sustain them beyond a certain time period. Our body uses different types of muscle fibers for aerobic and anaerobic exercises. Muscle fibers used for aerobic exercises are called type 1 muscle fibers, or slow twitch fibers, and for anaerobic exercises are called type 2 muscle fibers, or fast twitch fibers. Through his long runs, Rob developed his type 1 muscle fibers and degraded his type 2 fiber. Larry, on the other hand, strengthened his type 2 muscle fibers and ignored type 1 muscle fibers. Sadly for Rob, type 1 fibers are known not to grow much in size on use, while type 2 fibers grow significantly in size when put under load. So by doing cardio session, Rob not only lost fat, but also lost muscle mass. On the other hand, Larry sustained his muscle mass through his strength training. To really appreciate the difference between aerobic and anaerobic exercises, compare a sprinter with a marathon runner. It is a well-known fact that sprinters are much more muscular than marathon runners. This is because sprinters mostly run in the anaerobic regime, while a marathon runner operates in aerobic regime. This concludes our video. In one of our next videos, we will be talking about how steady state cardio can decrease your metabolic rate and bring down your daily calorie needs. If you are interested in getting fit, visit our homepage, ka-ya.com. Subscribe to our channel if you liked our video and get updates on our latest videos. Thank you for watching this video.